so today I have another Valentine's Day tutorial like I promised. This one is like probably my favorite one. Um, only because I do this look a lot. Like when I have no clue what else to do and I just kind of want to get something on quick but I know I want like a really pretty eye, I always do this. And it is so nice because I actually have, um, which I know this is kind of inconvenient for a lot of you guys because my, this is discontinued quad but the colors are not discontinued a lot of the colors are not discontinued so you don't have to worry about it but this actual quad is discontinued um or actually it's like a palette but this was from like one of the collections a couple years ago with the winter matte collection um what is this called the fabulously festive face kit and this one is in the color winter cool this one is amazing um the colors that it actually has in it which i'm gonna go ahead and tell you <clears throat> Uh, we have Floof, uh, Quarry, Brun, and Dance in the Dark. Dance in the Dark, as I do believe, is the only color that you cannot get, um, from MAC, and it's not a permanent color, but it is just a basic, like, dark brown, so you can really use any color that you want, any dark brown that you have. These are the colors right here. Seriously, such a pretty, uh, quad. This is Floof, which is, of course, um, a permanent color, Quarry. Uh, I do believe, I can't remember which one is, I think this is Brun and this is Dance in the Dark. Um, so you can get every single color except for Dance in the Dark. Um, let me make sure I'm saying that right. No. Yeah. Dance in the Dark. Um, so you can get every single one of these colors, um, except for Dance in the Dark, uh, in a in the permanent collection at MAC so don't be discouraged that oh well those that's a discontinued palette because actually um three out of the four colors are completely um are actually in the permanent collection and the blush that I used which actually goes super good with this eyeshadow like they did a, an amazing job at this look um I seriously love this look this is like my go-to um is mocha so that's also in the permanent collection so you don't have to worry about that um everything it's super good but i just like it because it's compact but i seriously love this look this is like one of my favorite looks i don't do it very often but i i love it like i used to do this and somehow it looked like perfect every single time you know it's just one of those looks i can just do and it'll look super super pretty i love it i love to put it with like a perfect flawless face um contour blush uh really pretty pinky nude lip and yeah i really really love this look i hope you guys do too um so yeah if you guys want to see how i got this look then just keep on watching okay so we're starting out with my primer i'm using the sonia kashuk um face primer just putting that all over my face and smoothing it out And I'm taking two foundations. I'm taking the L'Oreal True Match and the MAC um, Studio Finish and just blending this on my face. Just blending it out because the MAC one is too, um, it's too dark and the L'Oreal is way too light. So I'm just blending the two colors together to get like the perfect color. And then I'm just taking my Beauty Blender to pat it out and kind of smooth it out and make it completely flawless looking because the brush can leave streaks. So, And then I'm just taking my L'Oreal uh, True Match Concealer and putting that underneath my eyes um, on my nose and on my chin and my cupid's bow area just to kind of highlight the face. And I'm obviously concealing a lot underneath my eyes. Um, so yeah. And once again, blending that out with the Beauty Blender. You just want to make sure everything is flawlessly blended. Um, the reason I bring it down under my eyes so much is because I have a lot of redness just right underneath my eyes. And it does not get covered at all by anything except for concealer. So I have to bring it down kind of far. And I'm just taking my CoverGirl powder. I did not show that, but I'm taking my CoverGirl powder and blending it down my neck and putting it all over my face just to set the foundation.
studying it underneath the eyes with a smaller brush as well. And I'm taking my e.l.f. Um, brow kit and I'm putting the wax on first and then I'm going to put the powder on. Sorry if you can hear banging and talking in the background. My boyfriend is moving some stuff around with his parents. And I'm just taking um, MAC Painterly Paint Pot and putting that all over the lids to start the eyes. blending that really well out and I'm taking the quad from MAC and I'm taking floof to start and I'm going to pack that all over the lid with a Sigma flat shader brush you want to get this as intense as you want it and just put it all over the lid and I'm taking Quarry from MAC it's a very like purpley toned um, matte shade. It's beautiful and I'm just blending that into the crease. I feel like you can't really tell in the camera but it is there. And then I'm taking Brun which is like a darker or yeah it's like a dark brown and it has kind of like a greenish tone to it but you can't really see it when you put it on your eyes. And I'm just taking that into the um, crease and in the outer corner. And I'm taking the darkest color and dance in the dark and just put blending that um, in the outer corner and then kind of bringing it a little bit into the outer crease. And, of course, putting a highlight on. Um, I do believe I just used floof as well. And I'm taking an eyeliner pin and putting that on my top lash line and just going to create a line and a wing. You can create it however thick or thin you want it. Take your time with this because um, this is going to show a lot obviously because it's the winged liner and you want this to look really nice so just take your time with this. If you don't want to do it winged you don't have to but I really like the winged look with this um, eye look so. I'm curling my lashes and I'm going to put on mascara. Um, I use the CoverGirl Flamed Out Mascara. This one is in brown, which is a total mistake of me buying that. I meant to get black, but whatever. This mascara, though, seriously separates your lashes. It's really nice. And then putting lashes on. These are just my typical demi wispy lashes that I'm obsessed with. And I'm taking um, a bronzer. This is just a Jimmy Kid bronzer. I'm not sure of the name. Um, because it's rubbed off, but I'm just putting that on my temples to kind of slim them down a little bit and down my neck. And I'm also using that as a contour color. And then I'm just blending that out. <coughs> I'm taking the quarry color um, and I'm putting that on a pencil brush and just putting that right underneath my lower lash line. And I'm taking um, milk and a brush with pencil and milk and just, didn't I just say milk, and putting it in my waterline. And then I'm taking mocha blush and I'm putting that on my cheeks. And I'm taking my highlighter color, of course, by Revlon. And I'm putting that um, on my nose, my chin, my cupid's bow, my cheekbones, and my forehead just a little bit. Then I'm taking my Great Lash Clear Mascara to comb my eyebrows down. I'm taking my Double Spin Lipstick, which is another limited edition lipstick. And I put that on 
and then I put on my lip gloss um, from Smashbox and this is in the color Pout and that is the finished look. Okay, so that's my finished look. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Um, I hope that this was um, kind of toned down for some of you that thought maybe that my last uh, Valentine's Day tutorial was a little bit too dramatic for Valentine's Day, but I super love, I love this look. This look is just so pretty, and I think it's just perfect. It's not too dramatic. It's actually really pretty. It's very flattering on every single skin tone. Like, this is just a very flattering look. Um, I added lashes, which once again, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. It does add to the drama to the look, but I think it just makes the look. I think it looks beautiful, and yeah, I hope you guys like this look. If you guys like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more videos, videos like this one, um, please subscribe to my channel. Um, all of my links will be down below, Instagram, Twitter, all of that good stuff. Um, make sure you check out my last video, which will um, have links in the description bar and a little bit of an update of um, my sister who just started a channel. So please go check her out and support her. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And um, if you guys want to see more Valentine's Day looks or you guys have any request of a certain Valentine's Day look that you've seen or celebrity look that you've seen that you think would be good for Valentine's Day, please let me know. Send me a picture um, either to my email. My email is um, will be listed down below as well and you guys can contact me that way. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.